WikiLeaks released thousands of documents and files that it says expose hacking tools used by the Central Intelligence Agency. The leaks purportedly show that the CIA is capable of hacking smartphones, computer operating systems, automobiles, messenger applications, and even internet-connected televisions. The series of files, dubbed Vault 7, consists of 8,761 documents and files allegedly from the CIA's Center for Cyber Intelligence. Though many of the tools detailed in the documents are the kind of things you'd expect from an intelligence agency, they provide an unprecedented blueprint for how the CIA could hack individuals they're spying on. Here's how they could work. Say CIA operatives are investigating a suspect in France we'll call John. According to the leaks, CIA hackers operate out of the U.S. consulate in Frankfurt, Germany, using it as a base to cover Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. From the confines of the consulate, the CIA can track John's activities around France. The CIA purportedly has a few techniques it can use to hack into versions of Apple's iOS, the mobile operating system used in iPhones. The WikiLeaks documents detail malware, allegedly used as a hacking tool, that appears to remain on an iPhone even after it has been rebooted, a technique known as persistence. To gain access to phones and other devices, the CIA would exploit zero-day bugs, previously unknown flaws in the operating system's code, that they would collect and store. If the CIA hacks John's phone, it can bypass the encryption of messenger apps like WhatsApp, Signal, Telegram, and Confide that John uses, and collect voice, audio, and messages before the applications encrypt John's text. To track his movements, the agency can activate the camera and microphone on John's phone without him knowing, and retrieve his geolocation. Even if his cell phone's powered off, the documents describe how the CIA can hack other internet-connected devices to monitor John's activity. Working with British intelligence, the CIA developed an attack that can place Samsung smart TVs in a fake off mode. So while the TV appears turned off, in reality, it's functioning as a bug and recording his conversations in the living room. The CIA also apparently has the capability to target John's wireless internet router to connect to his infected computer or access files. American CIA hackers can also allegedly leave false breadcrumbs to mask the operation's fingerprints and make it appear that it was carried out by another country. That can be done by inserting malware components from a known Chinese, Russian, or Iranian hacking operation, for example, into a US one. There's evidence the CIA has been collecting malware components known to work in overseas cyber attack operations. The CIA declined to comment, quote, on the authenticity or content of purported intelligence documents, end quote. But if authenticated, the trove would be one of the biggest breaches in the spy agency's history. A spokesman for the White House also declined to comment. The extent of the impact on U.S. security remains to be seen. Apple, Microsoft, and Alphabet Inc.'s Google have all said in statements that they've already addressed some of the vulnerabilities, though their investigations were continuing.